Today we're talking about multiplying binomials, and you see here I've got problems written out where you have one binomial multiplied by another binomial. And I've got the answer up here, and I was wondering if you could maybe take a look at these problems and see if you can come up with a pattern so you can figure out um, how to get the answer. So the first answer is given x squared plus 8x plus 15. Okay, let's see if you can, um, if I give you the answer to this one, the answer is m squared plus 10m plus 16. Do you see a pattern that fits here? Maybe you even want to press pause and think about it for a minute. Okay, and does your pattern fit if I give you the answer to this one? The answer to this one, 2a squared plus 11a plus 5. So I'll be curious to see here um, who was able to come up with the rule on their own. But let me tell you how to multiply binomials um, in a nice way that keeps you really organized. Okay, so I would like you to copy this problem down right here. Okay, and we're going to use a method called FOIL. Okay, FOIL stands for, and I'd like you to write these words down too. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, last. And all FOIL is, is a way to keep you organized the products of all the different terms. Basically, FOIL is um, an extended distributive property, and it's just going to make sure that you multiply each term in here by each term in the second one. And we do it in this organized way called FOIL, and it's kind of um, fun and easy, so that's a good thing. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is multiply the two first terms. And you can see the first terms, the first term in this um, expression and the first term in this binomial. Okay, and it looks like this, 5x times 2x, and of course it gets 10x squared. All right, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply the outer terms. That's the outside term here and the outside term here. Okay, and that of course is 5x times 1, which gives us 5x. All right, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to multiply the inner terms, and that would be the negative 3 and the 2x. And remember, if you're not seeing that as a negative 3, you should go back to add the opposite. All right, so negative 3 times 2x. And then we're going to multiply the last terms. All right, the last term in the first binomial and the last term in the second binomial. So negative 3 times 1. And here's what you get. You get um, four different terms. You get a first, an outer, an inner, a last. Okay, so you get 10x squared plus 5x minus 6x minus 3. And, of course, you want to combine any like terms. Those outside-inside terms will usually combine. Okay, and that's where they get this final answer of 10x squared minus x minus 3. Okay, and that's the product. That's the final answer. All right, so let's do some practice together. Okay, let's practice with this first one, and I'm going to go ahead and add the opposite um, just because it's best practice in case you're not sure. Um, so what you want to do is you want to multiply these first terms. Okay, so copy that problem down, and then the first terms multiplied together, 3x times x gives you 3x squared. Okay, then we're going to multiply the outside terms, and that's 3x times 2. Don't forget we're multiplying, which gives you 6x. Then we're going to multiply the inside terms, and that's negative 4 times x, which is negative 4x, and we're separating each new term with a plus sign. All right, and then you're going to multiply the negative 4, the last terms, negative 4 times 2, which is negative 8. And then all you have to do is combine those outside-inside terms. They don't always combine, but they usually do and you get your final answer. Okay, let's practice again. Okay, we're going to start with first terms. That's the n times the 4n, which is 4n squared. Then we're going to do the outside terms, and don't forget that that's really a negative 7 times n. So we get negative 7n. Then we're going to do inside terms. Feel free to add the opposite. And we have a negative 6 times 4n, which is negative 24n. And then we have negative 7 times negative 6, which is positive 42. And we're going to combine up our like terms, and we get our final expression. Okay, let's take a look at one more. We'll do letter C together. Okay, and we're going to start with our first terms. I'll add the opposite if you like. So in this case, we're doing 2p cubed times 2p. And so we get 4p to the fourth. 
and then our outside terms, negative 5 times 2p cubed. And inside terms, we have 3 times 2p. And then last terms, negative 5 times 3 like this. Okay, and if you look at this one, you want to evaluate, do you have any like terms here? And you don't in this case, and so you're finished. Okay, let's take a look at one more example of multiplying polynomials. Okay, in this case we have um, a trinomial and a binomial, and you can copy that problem down right here. Okay, let's do it together. We're not going to be able to use FOIL. FOIL is something you only use for a binomial times a binomial. And so um, what I would do here is you want to take each um, each term in the first one, or it doesn't really matter if you use first or second, so you take each term and then multiply it by each term in the second one. So 3x squared times 2x, I'll draw a little arrow there, is 6x cubed, and don't forget to take really good care of your exponents here. And then we're going to do 3x squared times negative 7. Okay, now we're going to start with the next term in the trinomial which is the x here. So we're going to go x times 2x, and then x times negative 7. Okay, and then finally we're going to do the last term in this trinomial, the negative 5. Don't forget to look at that as a negative 5. And we're going to do negative 5 times 2x, and then negative 5 times negative 7. And now we have this list, and we've got to look for like terms. Luckily, in this one, they're nicely grouped together. Okay, so let's just write our final expression, which would be 6x cubed minus 19x squared minus 17x plus 35. Okay, there's another way. I want to um, do this one with you. Um, there's another way to multiply that. Um, trinomial times a binomial. It's really the same method, but only instead of putting your answers horizontally like this, I'll show you a method where you can put them vertically. You might prefer it. Okay, so we're going to work on that same thing where, um, let me copy this problem down differently because oftentimes you see it with the binomial first. So let's do this one like this. All right, so we're going to start with this first term here. Okay, so when you do this one, you want to take this first term times the next first term and then just write it down. So you get 2x cubed, and then we're going to multiply it by this next term, and you write it just right next to it, so negative 3x squared, and then times the third term in this trinomial, and so you get plus x. All right. Then when you move over to the second term in the binomial times the first term in the trinomial, you just want to like shove your work over so your like terms will be lined up. So you see this negative 3 times 2x squared is really negative 6x squared, so if you put it right there, it's lined up with its like term. And then you have negative 3 times negative 3x, which is positive 9x, and then last you have negative 3 times 1, which is negative 3. And now when you just draw a line down here and indicate that you're adding, it's a little bit easier. Okay, so you just collect like terms like this just down, and so it's sort of like your choice whether you want to align it horizontally or vertically. So let me give you a couple practice problems. Okay, so here are three practice problems for you to try. You can press pause now, get these copied down, and we'll check them in class tomorrow. Thanks.